Juneau has been Alaska's capital city for more than a century. And today it is also Alaska's third largest city. The capital itself is right downtown and surrounded by other state and private buildings. In fact, it might be hard to find if it weren't for the distinctive marble columns at the entrance. This is the location of the governor's office and where Alaska's legislature meets each year. Speaker, I move and ask unanimous consent. The committee substitute for House Bill 414 rules be considered a gross to advance to third reading and placed on final passage. Alaska's first elected legislators came to Juneau in 1913. Since there was no Capitol building, meeting space had to be rented. Alaska's first territorial legislature convened in the Elks Hall. The lack of a Capitol and other federal buildings was a concern of James Wickersham, Alaska's lone delegate to Congress. The great territory which I represent with its hundred prosperous and ambitious villages, towns, and cities has not to this moment one public building of the monumental type but scores of federal officials in rented rooms. In 1910, Congress authorized $200,000 for a Juno federal building, but there was a problem. The authorization covered only half of what was needed to purchase the land. Afraid the building might be indefinitely delayed, citizens of Juno raised the additional money, bought the properties, and then gave the land to the federal government. Finally, in 1929, construction began after a Chicago company won the contract with a bid of just over $700,000. Governor George Parks broke ground for the federal and territorial building in Juneau on September 18, 1929. The six-story Art Deco building was designed by federal architects. It's made of reinforced concrete with a brick face. The winning bidder earned a $25,000 bonus if Alaska marble was used, and it was. The columns in front of the building and interior trim are made of marble taken from quarries at Tolkien on Prince of Wales Island, about 180 miles south of Juneau. Governor George Parks raised the flag over the new federal and territorial building on February 14, 1931, just 16 days before the convening of the 10th Alaska Territorial Legislature. Finally, there was a permanent location for Alaska's legislature and the governor. The 10th Alaska Territorial Legislature convened March 2, 1931. The House and Senate chambers were both located in the building's east wing. Where the columns are, those are where the doors came into the chambers, and the speaker's cha was up here, and, and the gallery was in the back, and there were windows all the way around. You could look up to the Capitol School and hear the kids playing outside. They had wooden chairs and little wooden desks. They weren't big at all, and, they, and there were spittoons. I, I do remember that. You had to be careful when you walked around. 